excuse me, well, I'm going to back up to Nan, and Robert has a uh, comment to make and a request. And Robert, you want to go ahead and talk about your net metering discussion that you would like to put together for, along with our attorney, for July. Yes, yes. I would, what I, I would like to build a net metering contract suspension resolution to be presented and rotated and voted on in July with our attorney's advice on the proper verbiage. And the reason I want to do that is because I still see a problem with the net metering acting as a subsidy and we're not protecting a lot of our rate payers. And I want to make sure that we are clear on what it does. And if we have the power to suspend any further contracting, I believe it would be in the best interest of our co-op members that we do that. And I would like to have a resolution constructed and ready to be voted on in July. Okay. Uh, Robert, uh, that's, that's uh, fine to do that. And what we'll do is ask you to formulate a of that resolution and with the cut our attorney to format it in a proper form and then we will bring it to the board in July for a motion discussion and conversation and etc that sounds good mr. Louis. president I like that Louis go ahead I just wanted to know if we're gonna have the full I mean all the numbers on um, the economic impacts and I mean it sounds to me like it's we're gonna need a lot of groundwork uh, to have this discussion so is staff prepared to I mean do they have the time to make this presentation to the event that we I mean to the extent we have the all the info to be able to vote or can we just have an informational and then vote down the road do we have to vote in July yeah uh, <clears throat> I'll make a comment on that. The comment as well. My comment it is uh, your statement, Louis. Uh, we had a net metering update at our last meeting. I think you, you were involved on the phone comments, so you heard part of it. So I would think, and Brad can clarify, I would think they would be pretty up to date on their data. And if they need more time, we could certainly talk about that. So, Brad, maybe you could. Louis, what? Sure. Um, one of the things we do, both legislatively and within our organization, is because there's constantly changing dynamics, a lot of times it's good to have board policy and strategic plan for guidelines, but not anything concrete. Um, I would, and I think I mentioned a lot. Month. It appears the RCA and if what I hear is they want to bump it up from to 10 to 20 percent, I go, you know, I remind my staff, don't pick your battles wisely. Make sure they're worth picking. And if you're going to pick them, make sure you win. Um, even if we approve to cap it and the RCA within six months overrules us, we pick the battle for nothing. So just whether you agree or disagree with that meter, today we're following the law and that's the way it is. And Rick Baldwin reminds me frequently, Brad is not a recommendation, it is the law. I'm like, okay, thanks. <clears throat> so uh, if you guys decide when we hit that 7% cap that that's where we want to sit and the RCA changes it later this year, we've wasted our time. I mean, it's never a waste of time to get more information, but uh, pick your battles wisely. And that's the only suggestion I have. It's guys, do you really want to do this and have it? 
the discussion is great. The information is great. It's good to have. But if we're just following the law today, the law is going to change. That's going to superimpose on any direction this board gives that puts restrictions on it today. I go, uh, and quite frankly, we have a hard time demonstrating that net metering at 7% has had a negative impact on our system. Because um, we're going to be asked to demonstrate that to the RCA. Um, and we're struggling to demonstrate that financially. So. And this could be very unsettling. Brad, the, the, Brad the, question, the question is not if it causes un, an unstable grid. The question is, are we subsidizing a group of people at the expense of the rest of the co-op owners? And the other question is, if we have entered into an abusive relationship with the RCA, maybe we should put up a vote again and try to remove ourselves so we can manage our co-op without their oversight. Well, Robert, I, I just offered my opinion. Yeah. And um, you guys have the say, unless the RCA or the legislature says otherwise. But um, to date, we don't have enough information to say that we're economically being harmed. I've always stated I wish everybody paid $110 a month. Then if if our members buy zero electricity, we can still pay to maintain the system. We can still pay for insurance and everything else. And everything else is COPA. Because remember, the COPA is one third of your bill. The average bill is 150 bucks, or just north of a 150. Take a third of it off, and you're left at 110. I think it's a great deal. Statutorily, we can't do that. The most we can charge is $60. What's our fixed charge today? It's 20 so every time we do a cost of service study, this board gets to determine what to do for rate design. And last time it was, do you want 20 bucks? Do you want 25? Do you want 30? The revenue is the same because we just adjust the kilowatt hour sales according, or kilowatt hour charge accordingly. And the board picked $20, which is, I don't pay, care if you pick 20 if you pick 30. It has the same revenue impact because you're reducing. But if everybody paid $110 a month, this board and the management of the organization would not care whether every member was net metering or not and bought anything from us because we're getting all the revenue we need to pay for the pools and wires, the fixed costs. So um, today, since we're only at $20, but if you ran the financial analysis, you'd come up at close to $110. If you follow the legal, the statutory guidelines today, you end up about $66. So it's hard to say that, let's say Mike's net metering, and I'm not happy because I'm subsidizing Mike. Well, every member is being subsidized in some way. Because you can make the argument that you're sitting right next to the substation. Why should you pay for that long extension out to the end of Funny River Road when you're sitting at the Salon Airport? Or but, Saldovia. That's right, or Saldovia. Saldovia. We are a co-op. Um, and that's, guys, that's just the way it is. Now, you're certainly, you guys take the lead. You're the bosses. Um, we will follow whatever direction you want. I would highly suspect the RCA will overrule you if you put a limit on it. But that's that's your prerogative as a board. So well, I think Robert, this is your your uh, discussion topic. But my comment is that I think it's worthy of a conversation, and I think if the board had more. A little more data than we had last time was a pretty good presentation, but didn't really cover the nuts and bolts of what's going on in that metering. And I don't know how many people that are in here are aware of how little it is or how marginal it is or whatever.
number. I suspect it's pretty minimal, but I think it'd be a good, I think it'd be a round two discussion from your, your net metering professionals to really tell us the nuts and bolts of what's going on. And we can either just have a discussion about it and move on, or we can say, yeah, we want to change something. But I, I think, I personally, I think it's a good idea to, to at least go that far. Change. Yeah, and then Jim. Maybe because I don't really understand the, the workings of exactly what this board how it functions in all regard. But I mean, this issue, in in my view, needs simple discussion. It doesn't. We don't need to. Maybe you have to be me as a board to, to discuss an issue. But I mean, can we really have a, a discussion at the depth you're talking about in a formal board meeting, or do you? Can, a, can this board have a work session where you can get the? I'm curious as I can be. The more I learn about net metering, the more confused I become. And <laughs> I'll admit your comments that we all pay a $20 charge so everybody helps pay. That's not even anywhere near what the reality of this is. So here we sit. I don't know. I, I Does the board need to have a format where this is our topic of discussion. I think it's, it's, it's growing more all the time. And well, it's not going to go away. Brad can answer your question, but I think I think Brad's <clears throat> department that covers net metering is a pretty darn sharp and pretty professional. And I think if Brad gave him the direction that, hey, we need to give, we need some data, accurate data, what's going on, I think that'd be pretty easy for him, I believe, I believe to gather that information and we can have a discussion and and clear the air on net metering. There's right. some folks that are gung ho for net metering, and other people that are opposed to it. And some people are on the fence. So um, I don't think it would do any harm to have that conversation. Okay. Jim, Jim's next, right there. One one thing, um, I guess I want to reiterate. Brad did mention it sort of in passing, but uh, it's it's state statute. Yeah, it's not it's not like we have the option of ignoring. whatever laws we like or don't like does. Well, we're not the legislature, <laughs> um, even though we got elected. Um, anyway, so I just I want to bring that up is that it's it's not something that we can just arbitrarily yeah. change. Right, so right, now the RCA, state law. right now the RCA has a, a limit on it, which we're well, that's part of the state law. Coaching, uh, and they're obviously going to change it in the near, very near future, but we just keep my opinion, we need to know more. Uh, I don't mind having the discussion. All I'm saying is that you can't just change it. No, um, and the, the other thing is, is that, um, I mean, if we're going to involve Jess in it, I mean, she gets paid for what she's doing. Yeah. So we need to expect to have a bill yeah. um, from her to do that. So that, I'm a little hesitant on that. I'd rather have the discussion first yeah. and then have a bill. She's on a, <laughs> she's on a, on a retainer. Uh, Aaron, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, I think a lot of that data came out in the discussion last month and maybe the thing we could do to not waste staff's time or our own is get that presentation from last month sent out to everybody and ask us before next month to ask any additional questions that weren't already covered. Because otherwise, you know, they can come and give us a presentation. So if there's something specific you want, then you should ask for it specifically, and then maybe we could have that presentation from last month as a starting point. That was Rob Montgomery, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so that was a topic Robert brought up for discussion, and uh, we'll go from there and, and see what they can put together for a July meeting, and we'll have another discussion. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't believe it's on there. Thank you, Robert. Uh, he accounts you. Must have got bumped. What's that? Must have got bumped up. I don't think you no, I think, Did you hang up on him, Jen? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>